Welcome to everything you need to know about e-commerce photography lesson two. This lesson is all about how to merge your brand identity with your e-commerce visuals. And it's honestly one of my favorite topics. Our brands are so important to us. They show our customer our look, our feel, and our feelings. And it helps us get that sense of connection with our customers. Oftentimes, our brand is also something we painstakingly worry about. We select colors with intensity, we choose our fonts, our labels, our logos, and our graphics, all with great intention. And so bringing this to our e-commerce photography is incredibly important to give our website a cohesive look and feel and allow our website to connect to our social presences where we often find our next customer. So here's a couple ways to start merging your brand seamlessly with your visuals. In the previous lesson, we talked about product on white. And once you've mastered product on white, you can move on to some more fun images that bring your brand elements in. So first, let's talk about using product on color as a great way to introduce your brand. Product on color images are exactly like they sound. Instead of showing your product or your packaging on a white background, you show your product or your packaging on a color background. The color background should be a background that complements your brand. For example, if one of your brand colors is baby blue, then you should get a background color that is baby blue. If your brand colors are a mix of colors, you can even introduce those multiple colors in your background. For example, combining baby blue with a secondary color in your brand book, like baby pink. These two can work together to make your product stand out and give your consumer a sense of what your brand is all about. And these kinds of images transcend not only product display pages, but they are incredibly successful on Instagram, in Facebook ads, on Pinterest, places where you're going to get conversion to your website. Another way you can introduce your brand elements is by giving your brand's take on the seasons. In e-commerce, we all know that the seasons drive transactions. And it's not just Black Friday and Cyber Monday, it's the new year, it's Valentine's Day, it's Mother's Day and Father's Day, it's summer, it's back to school. There are plenty of periods in the year where consumers are shopping based on seasonality and your brand might have a take on those seasons. How does your brand celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah? How does your brand have its own unique take on Father's Day because you sell products for men? Those options can be everything from packaging to wrapping papers to ornaments to dinner settings and table settings, all of the pieces of how your brand would celebrate these occasions. Include these in your images, make them part of the celebration. It also allows your customer to feel like they are celebrating with you and inspires them to buy now. We always want people to buy now, but images that remind them of the urgency of that seasonal trend are more likely to inspire them to convert. My final tip for how you can add your brand elements to your visuals is to think about your customer's experience. This can mean a couple different things. First, it can literally mean user-generated content from your customers. When you have a customer that you feel highly represents your brand, invite them to show off the product, how they're using it, how they are enjoying it, and use that content on your website and in your social. You can also show this off with a model. For example, if you have a pet company, what is the dog of your dreams? Do you maybe have a doggy mascot? Include that dog in your images and make it a centerpiece of the experience. Of course, don't forget that this also works with people. If your founders represent your brand in a dynamic and interesting way, they should be included in your photos. If they represent your brand because they created your brand, they also should be part of the background. Including people, pets, or just your customer in general in your visuals allows the customer to see themselves. 
And that's what we all want. We want our customers to see themselves in our brand. Before we move on, there are a few things you should avoid when trying to seamlessly integrate your images with your brand. The first is you want to avoid bright colors. Overly bright colors, think hot red, can actually make people feel the opposite of how we want them to feel and oftentimes are hard to quickly connect to the brand. Bright colors are great in graphics and logos, but right now are not trending as well, especially on social media. The second thing I would recommend you avoid is mixing and matching all your holidays at once. We don't wanna to talk to everyone all the time. And so pick a path, pick a season. Sometimes you wanna do Mother's Day, Father's Day, and summer and 4th of July all at once. But that kind of overemphasis of every season can actually be deeply confusing. Really try to segment your images, segment your seasons, and celebrate them at the appropriate times. This is going to mean having to change over your product images and change over your social and update often. But the more you update, the more you come on the radar of your customer. And finally, your brand should be entirely unique to you. So don't just copy what other brands like yours are doing in terms of integrating into their visuals. This is a huge problem in our industry and I know where it comes from. We're all scrolling on social media all day. We're all shopping all the time. And so it's easy to let other brands style kind of get in our heads and become part of how we're thinking about our own brand. Do your best to really try to turn off the noise, think about what is special and particular to you and your customers, and create a style that is all your own. It will help you stand out, and it will make you the talk of the town with the other people who start copying you later on. I kind of have a personal chip on my shoulder about the fact that I want people to copy me, not the other way around. Hopefully you found this an instructive way to get your brand integrated into everything visual on your e-commerce store. And if you found this lesson helpful, I hope you'll join me for lesson number three, which is about driving traffic with content.